Hi guys, I'm Mo. I am the exercise specialist here at Bailey Bariatrics. And Ryan and I are going to be walking you through the resistance band workout. I'm gonna be going over the upper body moves and then Ryan's gonna come in and take over and do the lower body moves. We're also going to show you modifications for each of these moves. If you don't have a resistance band, that's okay. You can always go grab two cans of green beans out of the pantry, water bottles. You don't necessarily have to have a band. If you have come into the office and we've given you a band, go grab it real quick. Put some water by your side. If you haven't received your band, make sure you come into the office and ask for one, okay? So our first move that we're gonna start with today is the chest pull. And I want you to take that resistance band and grab it about shoulder width apart. I want you to sit on the edge of the seat, scoop the abdominals in, shoulders back down and around. And we're gonna take this resistance band and we're gonna pull it a little bit wider than the shoulders. And then we're gonna come back to center. And as you breathe in through the nose, actually exhale as you extend, inhale as you come back into center. We're gonna be performing this move three sets of eight repetitions. So here's eight, and we come back. Seven, breathe through each move. Six, come back. Five, and if you find that it's a little tight, you can release the band. Four, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Three, come back. Two, and one. So when you're doing those three sets of eight, pause, roll those shoulders around, shake it out, and then continue. Two more sets eight to 10 repetitions. So our next move that we will be doing is the row. And we're gonna take your band, and you're gonna place it on the bottoms of your feet, right where the balls of your feet are. Again, you're sitting up nice and tall at the edge of the seat. Flex the feet so the band doesn't you know, pop you in the face or anything. Shoulders back down and around, abdominals are scooped in. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna pull those elbows right by your side, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and then release. Again, if you're having a really tight resistance, you can always move your hands up to the end of the band. Pull, squeeze those shoulder blades, and release. Exhale as you pull back, and release. We will also be performing this move, three sets, eight to 10 repetitions, or eight, and release. Seven, six, Five, smile pretty. <laughs> Four, three, squeeze those shoulder blades. Keep those ears away from the shoulders. Two, we're gonna do one more and pause. So again, release between each set. I want you to shake it out, take a deep breath. Then you can start your next set. We're gonna work with e at least two sets of eight to 10, or three sets of eight to 10. Okay, so our next move that we're going to do with our resistance band is gonna be your front and side lateral raises. So when we're doing this, if you want more of a challenge on your front and side lateral raises, I want you to stand. But right now I'm gonna stay seated. We're gonna show modifications throughout this video, okay? So when you're doing a front and side lateral raise, Put one foot or both, if you have both feet on the band, it is going to give you more of a resistance. If you need a little bit of assistance, take that foot away, but make sure you have equal resistance on the band. So when we're sitting up edge of your seat, nice and tall, we're gonna begin bringing the arms straight in front of you with the band, only about shoulder height, lower down, and then we're gonna go to a side lateral, only shoulder height, and come back to center. Perform this move eight times, and then we pause and repeat two to three more sets. So I will show you for a full set. Lifting up, exhale, eight, inhale down. Arms straight, but not locked. Seven, here's big time. We don't wanna start doing this, because then you're gonna have a lot of pain in the shoulders and the neck. Nice and tall, six, Front and side lateral. Five, this is nice shoulder work, guys. <sighs> Breathe through the move. Four, <sighs> abs scooped in. 
Hey, it's summertime. Three, we gotta build those beautiful shoulders so we could wear our tank tops and bathing suits, you know? We gotta look good out on the beach. I'm joking. If you wanna go to the beach, awesome. Can you take me with you? One, <laughs> front and side. Okay, so that was one set of eight repetitions, front and side lateral raises. Pause, rest and recover, and repeat. Our next move will be your bicep curl. Again, if you want more of a challenge, you wanna put the band underneath the foot, or you can just put one foot and adjust your grip on that resistance band, sitting on the edge of your seat, or you can also do this standing for even more of a challenge. Elbows right by your waist, shoulders back down and around. We're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, bicep curls. We're gonna roll it up, eight, lower right back down. Exhale on the execution, seven, six, five, lower down, four, belly button scooped in, nice and tall, three, two, and one. Very good, there's your one set of eight. Repeat two more times, okay? Now, the last upper body move we're gonna show is your tricep. We have a few options with your triceps. So the triceps is your underarm dingle dangles. You know, when it weighs, you know, we don't wanna, let side. Ryan and I always get a lot of, how can I get rid of this? How can I get rid of this? What can I do for this? Guys, you cannot spot reduce one area. We have to work all major muscle groups together. So it's very important to work the opposing muscle group. So we just did the bicep, let's do your tricep. So we're gonna, again, sitting on the edge of your seat, I'm gonna kind of tilt a little bit so you can see the placement of my hand. We're gonna take your right hand, place it behind you. Left hand is holding that resistance band. It might take you a couple of minutes or a few tries to see what your resistance is, and that's okay. That's right, you do this at your own pace. So what we're gonna do for your tricep is you're gonna keep that elbow close by the side of your head, and then you're gonna pull in opposite directions and working the muscles in the back of the arm. If we find that you're pulling in opposite directions a little too tough for you, just do one arm, lifting straight to the ceiling and pulling back down, okay? So we're gonna begin this move, breathing, inhale, exhale, pull, eight, lower down, seven, and release. Six, I'm smiling under this mask, I promise guys. I just want you to have fun and enjoy this movement. Think of the future, you know, long-term fitness goals, strong, lean muscles. I'm smiling, I promise. <laughs> Three, two, and one. So that was one set of eight on your right arm. So we kind of have to do the other side. We don't want to be all lopsided here, but I'm going to show you on your left arm, a different variation of a tricep. So this first one I did was an overhead extension. Okay. Your second one will be a kickback. You can take the band, place it under your foot. So it doesn't slip, put your fist that's holding the band right by your rib cage, tilt forward slightly. Elbows kicking back behind you, and you're just going to do your pivot point at the elbow. Shoulder will not move. So this is a tricep kickback. You're gonna extend back eight, bend at that elbow. Seven, so the execution is the kickback. Six, that's where you exhale. Five, make sure you're not doing that swinging. That's gonna cause pain. Four, chin up off the chest. Three, two, and one. So there was your upper body muscle moves with the resistance band. Modification is doing that kickback. We've got weird shoulders, can't do the overhead extension. We always have a different variation. Okay, so Ryan's getting ready to come in and he's gonna take over with the lower body muscle moves and showing variations for you as well. Keep up the good work, guys. Hey everyone, this is Ryan. I'm one of the exercise specialists here at Bailey. 
I know Mo just got finished up taking you through those upper body movements, right? So we can tone up the arms, get those, those nice shoulders for tank tops, things like that. I'm gonna help you out with our lower body movements. So it's really important to kind of keep that base strong. So especially if we have, you know, maybe some, some, some ankle issues or some knee issues, it's really important to get those muscles strengthened up that kind of surround those, those joints. So I'm gonna take you through that movement, all right? Now, one quick note that I wanna show you. So any movement that we're doing with this, with this band, I wanna make sure that we have a strong base on the arms. So we're gonna be lifting some, so we're gonna be doing some leg movements. So I gotta make sure this is solid. Those legs are strong. So I don't want that wrist to turn or move or twist or anything. I want a hand in line with the wrist, in line with the forearm. So let's get going. Now, our first movement that we're gonna do is a leg press. Really good for those quadriceps, right? That kind of support those knees. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our band, we're gonna sit down in a chair, kind of get a little close to the edge a little bit, right? Make sure you're still stable. We're gonna take one foot. So we'll start with one side. We're gonna sit back get those shoulders back, make sure those wrists and hands are strong, and we're gonna press out and come back in. So press out and come back in. I don't wanna lean back and do that. I want that, that strong core, I want that belly button scooped in. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take you through eight repetitions, all right? So we'll start here, press out, that's one. Keep pressing. If you need to short that movement just a little bit, that's fine. Here's four. Make sure those shoulders stay big and tall. Six, seven, one more to go. Eight. I don't know if you're feeling it or not, but I'm feeling a little bit of feeling a little bit of work right here through the top of my leg. Okay. So here's the deal. I just did one side. <clears throat> Then we switch over to that other side and we get eight repetitions. So after you do that, kind of shake it out, reset a little bit. Maybe if you need to stand up and then sit back down, that's fine. And then we're gonna get eight repetitions on the other side. Now here's the deal guys, I want you to go through that one set, take a little break, shake it out, and then go for two more rounds. Sound good? So the next movement that I'm gonna show you is this is one of my favorites. It's really important for balance and stability. We're gonna do a hip abduction. So we're gonna kind of strengthen up the outsides of those hips, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put both feet on that band, okay? Sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna flip that band over my knees, okay? Still staying big and tall, scoop that belly button in, keep that strong core. And then I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna come back in. All right, so we're gonna go through eight repetitions once again, right? So let's get set and we're gonna go one, two, three. Now the thing that I don't want you to do is let that knee roll in, keep a big strong base, four, Five, keep those shoulders back. Six, two more to go. Seven, last one. Eight, that's it. I'm feeling it right through here on the side of my leg. That's awesome. That's really good stuff for kind of helping with stability, right? Now, same deal as, as what we talked about with the leg press, with the in and out. We're gonna get eight reps on one side. Then we're gonna switch it over and we're gonna do eight reps on the other side, all right? So next, we work the outside. Like Mo mentioned, we kind of have to work opposing muscles. So when she was talking about biceps and triceps, if I worked my abductors, I need to get my adductors. So the inside right through here, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Again, we're gonna sit down in our chair. We're gonna stay nice and tall, okay? I'm gonna take this band, so I'm gonna start with my right foot. You can start either side, whichever way you wanna do it, right? We're gonna take that band, 
we're gonna put it under our foot and on that same side, that same side that I'm working, I want you to grab that band with the same hand. Again, keep that strong wrist. We're gonna come out to the side a little bit. Bring that leg out and we're going inside right there. Get those adductors, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come in and we're gonna take it back out. So let's get started. So again, strong base, scoop that belly button in, shoulders are back. We're gonna come out to the side, straighten that leg out a little bit, in and out. So that's one, two, let's keep it going. This one's a little tricky. It, you, your, your shoulders want to kind of roll in. I don't want you to do that. Okay, so that's four, five. We've got three more to go. Almost there. We should be feeling it right through here. Last one. Ah! Whew. That's a good lower body workout. I like it. I don't know how you all are feeling, but my legs are ready to go. So after we do that adduction movement, we need to switch it over to the other side, get eight more repetitions. Make sure that we're kind of, that we're, I, I like that three sets of eight repetitions for lower body. So on, eight, all, on all of these movements, get your eight repetitions, shake it out a little bit, get set, shoulders back, and then repeat a couple more times. So three sets of eight repetitions on these lower body movements, all right? Let's get those strong legs, get a strong base. Have a good day.